Okay, so imagine this. You're cruising towards, I don't know, let's say that Monaco Harbor. Right. right? Yeah. At night, it's, you know, the water's reflecting all the city lights. There's a million other boats around. I can see it now. And you can barely see, you know, two feet in front of you. Oh, right. But then imagine that you've got this. Well, this ability to see everything. Every boat, every buoy, like some kind of superpower. Yeah. Right. That's FLIR cameras. Yeah. That's what we're diving into today. It's funny you should say superpower because for a long time, that's kind of what it was, right? I mean, we think military, we think, you know, oh, cool. yeah. top secret stuff. Right. But now it's on luxury yachts. Exactly. Exactly. It's not just for, you know, covert ops anymore. And it's becoming like the must have thing. Like forget the... um. I don't know the... Uh, forget the jacuzzi. Yeah, jacuzzi. Forget the jacuzzi. You need the FLIR. There you go. So so what is it? It's infrared, right? So we're talking heat, not light. Exactly. So everything, you, me, that champagne bottle over there, okay. it's all giving off infrared radiation. Right. The warmer it is, the more radiation it's putting out. Okay. And a FLIR camera. It picks up on all those tiny, tiny differences in temperature. Right. And turns it into an image. That's those, you know, kind of spooky images we always see. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's not just like... Blurry shapes out there, is it? I mean, how much detail can you actually see? It's way more advanced than people think. I mean, these cameras nowadays, mm. they can pick up on temperature differences that are like fractions of a degree. Oh. We're not just talking shapes in the dark. You can identify stuff. Really? You know, tell the difference between a rogue wave and like a I... dolphin playing around. So how about this dual sensor system I keep hearing about? That sounds... Kind of, I don't know. Yeah. James Bondish. Right, right. So you've got this crystal clear thermal image at night, right? Mm -hmm. For safety, navigation, all that. Yep. Then the sun comes up, boom, the system switches over, no problem. Oh. High definition color camera. Daylight, nighttime, you're covered. That's amazing. Yeah. But what about, I mean... You're talking about the ocean here. Yeah. It's moving, the boat's moving. Oh, absolutely. How does FLIR deal with all that? Gyro stabilization. Think of it like... Um, like an invisible hand, right? Okay. Keeping the image steady. Even if the yacht's doing its best roller coaster impression. No seasickness from the screen. That's exactly, good. Exactly. Exactly. What about seeing stuff far away? The ocean's a big place. It is a big place. That's yeah. where the zoom comes in. And FLIR cameras, they got you covered. Okay. Optical, digital, you name it. Miles, not meters, my friend. Oh, wow. Whether you need to see a shoreline or spot something <laughs> out on the horizon, you've got plenty of warning. That's incredible. So, so far we've been talking about, well, mostly nighttime, right? But you can use this during the day. I mean, doesn't it need to be dark for the heat to show up? Not at all. It's a common misconception that you need darkness. But remember, FLIR is picking up heat signatures, mm -hmm. not relying on the absence of light. Right, right, of course. And that's where it actually shines, pun intended, okay. in those conditions where our eyes, even our fancy cameras, they struggle. So, like, what kind of situations are we talking? Think fog. Oh, right, yeah. Glare or just, you know, the sheer size of the ocean. It's very big. When something's tiny, miles away, hard to spot. Yeah, okay, so I'm, let's say, in a thick fog bank. You can barely see the bow of my own boat, relying on instruments and, right. you know, hoping for the best. Yeah. What does FLIR do for me there? Okay, so in a fog bank, uh, visually, everything's kind of hazy, right? Right. Temperature looks uniform. Right. But a boat passing through, a channel marker that's, you know, half underwater, mm -hmm. they disrupt that. Even small temperature differences, they pop on the FLIR screen. It's like it's like seeing through the fog then, basically. Exactly. Wow. But what about the opposite then when it's... I don't know. Super bright. Sun's reflecting off the water. Ah, uh, glare. Yeah, glare. Can't see anything. <sighs> Kills regular cameras, but for FLIR, doesn't care. Wow. Not relying on visible light, remember. It's those heat differences. So you're still getting a clear picture, even with all that sunlight. Crystal clear. Gives you a real edge. Especially if you've been out on the water a while, you get fatigued. Oh, 100%. Easy to miss things, even for experienced captains. Even the best. Yeah. And don't forget, crowded waterways, harbors, shipping lanes. Oh, yeah. So much going on. Sensory overload. It is. FLIR cuts through all that. Right. Highlights those little boats, debris, stuff that blends in. Because I'm assuming there's a difference between spotting, yeah. I don't know, a log in the water versus like a whole fishing net. Oh, absolutely. One's an inconvenience. Or, the yeah. other's a potential disaster. Exactly. FLIR helps you avoid that. It's like essential then. Not just a luxury anymore, really. 
becoming more and more vital, I'd say. Well, we got to talk about nighttime, too. That's, I mean, that's where FLIR really shines, right? No doubt about it. Seeing in total darkness, it's a game changer, especially in waters you don't know, like the back of your hand. Right. That confidence at night, it's huge. But it's more than that. It's about those hidden dangers. Hidden dangers. Like what I'm picturing, like... Champagne cork bobbing around that's not going to sing a yacht. Think bigger. Shipping (laughs) containers, logs, fishing gear, that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Hard enough to see during the day, at night. Forget it. Until it's too late. Exactly. But FLIR picks them up against the cooler water. So you've got time to react. Exactly. Okay, that's that's a little unnerving, not going to lie. So we're talking preventing serious damage, potentially, right? Could be the difference between a near miss and... Well, you know. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. So not a gadget, a safety tool. A hundred percent. And I imagine it's helpful for more than just, I don't know, not hitting things. What about those situations where you really need every advantage you can get? Like rescues? Have you heard of that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, picture this. It's late, stormy. You get a distress call. Okay. Small fishing boat. They're missing. Oh, no. (laughs) Coast guards out there, but it's, you know, needle in a haystack stuff. Right. Yeah. Now, imagine there's a yacht nearby. Oh, okay. They've got FLAR. They join the search. Suddenly, bam, there it is on the screen. With the boat. Faint heat signature. Turns out it's it's a guy. Oh, wow. Clinging to a life raft. Couldn't see him otherwise. That's that's incredible. It changes everything, right? Yeah. But okay, let's let's talk about something a little less uh intense. Sure, sure. What about like docking at night? Ah, always a fun one. Yeah, especially in a crowded marina. That's got to be stressful, even for, you know... Even the pros get a little tense, yeah. How does FLIR help with that? It's all about the details, you know? Edge of the pier, other boats, even the lines in the water. You can see the line. Like they're daylight, my friend. Yeah. Gives you that extra confidence, make sure you get in nice and smooth. That's wild. Yeah. And speaking of seeing things you wouldn't normally see, I'm thinking marine life, right? Oh, absolutely. Right. It's like a whole other world opens up at night. Because you're not relying on just like your spotlight or whatever. That's exactly. No need to disturb anything. Imagine dolphins, right, swimming next to the yacht, their bodies lit up by their own heat. Wow. Or a whale surfacing in the distance. You see its blowhole, the warm breath. That's that's amazing. Pretty really special. Yeah, it is. So we've gone from, you know, blurry green blobs to all this safety navigation even i don't know a whole new way to experience nature it's really something makes you wonder is flir gonna be like the thing for luxury yachts Hmm. not just i know a cool extra i think it's heading that way i mean we think radar gps those are the essentials right but when you add in everything flir brings to the table day and night yeah safety awareness peace of mind really it's hard to argue with that hard to argue with so Maybe it's time to start thinking about FLIR as well. Essential. And on that note, listeners, we'll leave you with this. If FLIR can do all this for, you know, a yacht. What about everything else? Could we be using it for the environment? Search and rescue on a larger scale. It's pretty exciting to think about. 